Ezekiel chapter 22. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, Now, you son of man, will thou judge, will thou judge a bloody city? Yea, thou shalt show her all her abominations. Then say thou, Thus saith the Lord God, The city sheds blood in the midst of it, that her time may come, and makes idols against herself to defile herself. Thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed, and hast defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made, and thou hast caused thy days to draw near, and art come even unto thy ears. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the peoples, and a mocking to all countries. Those that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee, which are infamous and much vexed. Behold, the princes and rulers of the earth and of Israel, every one were in thee to their power to shed blood. In thee they have set light by father and mother. In the midst of thee have they dealt by oppression with the stranger. In thee have they vexed the fatherless and the widow. Thou hast despised my holy things, and hast profaned my Sabbath. In thee are men that carry tales to shed blood, and in thee they eat upon the mountains, in the midst of thee they commit lewdness. Number nine. In thee have they discovered their father's nakedness. In thee have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution. And one has committed abomination with his neighbor's wife. And another has lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law. And another in thee has humbled his sister, his father's daughter. In thee have they taken gifts to shed blood, though has taken usury which is interest and an increase, and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion, and hast forgotten me, say, the Lord God. Behold, therefore I have smitten mine hand at thy dishonest gain which thou hast made, and at thy blood which has been in the midst of thee. Can thine heart endure? Or can thine hands be strong? In the days that I shall deal with thee, I, the Lord, have spoken it, and will do it. Verse 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, in 5 years. And I will scatter thee among the people, and disperse thee in the countries, and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. And thou shalt take thine inheritance in thyself in the sight of the peoples, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of earth and of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass, and tin, and iron, and lead, and aluminum, in the midst of the furnace. There are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Because you are all become dross, Behold, therefore I will gather you into the mist, As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin and aluminum into the midst of a furnace, To blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire, 
of my wrath, and you should be melted in the mist thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall you be melted in the midst of all. And you shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed, nor rained upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst of, like a roaring lion ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I am profaned among them. Her rulers and princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, ravening the prey, to shed blood and to destroy souls, to get dishonest gain. No, war is not good. Never, ever, number nine. And her prophets have dogged them with untempered water, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord has not spoken. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, but I should not destroy it, but I found none. Therefore have I poured out mine in indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God of everything. Amen.